Hi, welcome to this brief video clip on first use and early configuration of the well-known Mumble voice client application for Linux. In, prior, um, in a prior clip, we showed how this is downloaded and installed. I haven't run it yet, but I did place in that, in that clip an icon right here. I'm going to left click on it right now for the first time. Click, firing up, up Mumble, and it'll always start with this audio tuning wizard. It says, welcome to the Mumble audio wizard. This is the audio tuning wizard for Mumble. This will help you correctly set the input levels of your sound card and also set the correct parameters for sound processing in Mumble. Please be aware that as long as this wizard is active, audio will be looped locally to allow you to listen to it and no audio will be sent to the server. Okay, I'm going to begin by putting on my headset. This, uh, this computer actually has several different audio cards and I want to make sure that Mumble is configured to use this wireless one. Uh, which I think is on. Yeah, there's a blue light on here. It tells me it's, it's on. Let's click next and see if it can find it. Well, it found well, my main speakers. Main speakers. <laughs> Let's, Let's um, okay, 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 turning, turning the wizard, wizard, device, device selection. selection. Selecting the, selection. Selecting the input, input and output device with, with Mumble. Mumble. I do, I do want to use the Pulse, Pulse audio, system, audio system, but the device, but the device I want to use is going to be going my headset. headset. So I'm going to click on this created HS1200 headset, 1200 headset with analog for, for input, input device. device. And similarly, and similarly for, the output for the output device, device um, again, from, again, this from this list, list clicking, on, clicking the list on the list activator and then going to the created headset. Ah, and I just heard the sound. I can hear myself talking in this headset here. So that's good. Next. Now I'm hearing some speech coming through my headset. You can't hear it, but it's talking to me. And, it's, and that talking is an example of what the sound sounds like. And it's urging me to move this slider to the left until I get chatter or stutters and things. Every time I move this to the left, to the, left um, the hardware is, is asked to work faster and faster. If I go too far to the left, I'll start to get stuttering and chattering and gaps. But as I'm going left, I'm not hearing that. So I'm going to go left farther and farther and farther. Looks like I can go all the way to the left and let my hardware run as fast as possible. So I'm hearing in my earphones clear audio at this point. If I had heard stuttering, I would have moved the slider to the right. But we're done with this. I am tuned for speed. Next. Now, I'm talking to myself. Everything I say here, I can hear coming through my earphones. It's slightly delayed, which is a little bit irritating, but that's okay. Let's read through this. It says, volume tuning. Tuning microphone hardware volume to optimal settings. Open your sound control panel. That's down here. And go to the recording settings. That's this. Make sure the microphone is selected as active input, which I can see that it is, with maximum recording volume. If there's an option to enable a microphone boost, make sure it's checked. Well, there I am, as loud as possible. It says, speak loudly as when you are annoyed or excited. Decrease the volume in the sound control panel until the bar stays as high as possible in the balloon area, but not the red zone while you speak. Yeah, I can see I'm going into the red and I'm hearing distortion, so I'm gonna decrease this microphone about like that. So as I'm talking loud, it never goes into the red zone. It doesn't overmodulate. That's good. Now it says, talk softly as if you are talking late at night and you don't want to disturb anyone. Adjust the slider below so that the bar moves into the green when you talk, but stays blue when silent. So I can make that, I can make the blue zone bigger so that I'm comfortably in the blue zone when not talking, but it still breaks nicely into the green zone as I talk. It kind of makes me helps me determine just how loud I need to talk to be heard. And I'm pretty happy with it just like this. So if I speak very softly, it doesn't trigger anything. But if I speak up, it clearly does get into the green zone without going into the red overmodulating zone. That's good. Next, it says this is uh, voice activity detection, letting Mumble figure out when you're talking and when you're silent. 
This will help Mumble figure out when you are talking. The first step is selecting which data value to use. Do we want to go with push to talk or roll amplitude from input or signal to noise ratio? Um, you'll need to experiment with these options to see how it works on your hardware, but I happen to know I like the raw amplitude from input. So it says, next, you need to adjust the following slider. The first few utterances you say should end up in the green area. See this area? That means definitive speech. While talking, you should stay inside the yellow, might be speech, and when not talking, everything should be in the red, definitively not speech. I can move this boundary with this slider. Okay. This way. And this way, when I'm not talking, it stays red. And when I speak normally, it breaks up well into the green or yellow areas, saying might be speech or definitely speech. By playing with this boundary, I can get pretty good, pretty good performance. And I've got it the way I like it. Next. Quality and notifications. It allows me to pick from any of the pre-configured popular bandwidth organizations, and I like to leave it on balance. This is the recommended default. However, there are many times when you want to experiment with low bandwidth or high quality settings. Use your judgment on that one. Um, text to speech notifications, that doesn't work on in my experience, in my Linux system. If it works for you, you can try it, but I'm going to disable it and clicking next. Next it talks about positional audio. Um, with helper apps, uh, uh, Mumble can actually help you hear the difference between people on your left or people on your right. It takes full advantage of stereo positioning. However, because that requires a special app, that's not the subject of this little clip, so I'm going to just skip it. It says we're finished. I can enjoy using Mumble. The text says, congratulations, you, sh you should now be ready to enjoy a richer sound experience with Mumble. It's just that easy to uh, work with Mumble and get an application installed and tuned up. And in our next uh, little clip, we'll show how to connect to a Mumble server. Thank you very much. We're going to click Finish. And, uh, oh, there's a list of possible Mumble servers suggested. We'll talk about that in our next video.